Well, my talk was on uh, who's afraid of big data, big data and the agile architecture revolution. The agile architecture revolution, of course, being the name of my new book. And the, the, the focus is really on how big data is not a fixed size, but continues to grow over time. So how do you get a handle on it where any tool that you have will be swamped by the quantity of data? You just give it enough time. Uh, so you need to come up with a better approach for dealing with data governance that is inherently flexible and deals with change over time. People really need to understand the level of risk that they're undertaking when they're taking on metadata management projects. In fact, I'm beginning to think that there needs to be a shift towards agile metadata project management with people working in a very collaborative manner between the actual end users, the business users, the vendors, people like me, um, service providers, uh, to work collectively to deal with complicated problems. The bottom line uh, goal of my session is to introduce business value from integrating static data and dynamic data, which, and dynamic data is data that is produced outside the enterprise. So that is the business value aspect, and the goal of the session is to help people understand what it means to data modeling, what it means to data management, what it means to data privacy, data security, all points surrounding data. Well, the solution is agile architecture, right? So I get into the specifics, leveraging, uh, uh, pol representing policies as metadata, to support automation of uh, policy-related processes, and then talking at the meta level about what it means to have a meta policy, which is a policy for how to do governance, and then uh, how an organization has to deal at that meta level. So business agility is a meta requirement, right? Uh, uh, agile methodologies are actually meta methodologies, and uh, meta policies are the key to, uh, are really the key to agile architecture. Imagine, for instance, that you have 100 business terms, well, you can probably display 100 business terms. What happens if it gets to be 100,000 business terms? Try scrolling down that for a while. Or suppose you're trying to set up permissions for 300 users. Well, that's okay. 3,000 users, getting a bit bigger. 300,000 users, oh, I don't think so. That's a really difficult problem. We need to think about that in different ways. So. I know you're bored about hearing about big data, but there are big metadata projects that people are starting to have to grapple with. Social data integration, social data analysis, the ability to bring in data from uh, Facebook and monetize off of it, right? Understanding customer sentiments, customer sen sensitivity to marketing, right? Not centricity, sensitivity to marketing, personalization of services, uh, personalization of offers and the like. So companies are struggling today to understand how to do work with this, but in the next five years, this is going to be the way the world will evolve and pretty much it is driven by the next generation of shoppers.